Bumblebees are important pollinators because they have a lot of skills and, and structures in their body that allow them to pollinate plants that other bees and pollinators cannot. For example, they have really long tongues that allow them to access nectar in flowers that are very deep. And that means that they can access it and pollinate those flowers that other insects can't. They can also warm up when it's very cold, which means they can fly when other insects can't. So they can pollinate flowers that are open earlier in the year or in colder parts of the day. My name is Emily Baird and I'm a lecturer at the Department of Zoology at Stockholm University. When the temperatures rise, uh, bumblebees will become affected because they, while well, they're very good at heating up, they're not as good at, at cooling down. This means that they are unable to really regulate their behaviour. So studies in our lab have shown that their ability to learn and remember flowers that give them good nectar actually gets impaired as it gets hotter. They also fly faster, um, which can be more energetically costly, and they visit a lot more flowers. And while that could be a good thing, they actually spend less time on each flower, which means that, that they distribute less pollen and it actually has an effect on the plant's reproductive output and making it worse when it gets hotter. If other insects, uh, pollinating insects like bumblebees, are affected in the same way when the climate warms up, then what we will probably find is that the pollination becomes worse for plants and this will have knock-on effects for biodiversity and for also uh, pollination in our agricultural systems, which means ultimately less food for us. So to protect bumblebees and other wild bees and, and insect pollinators, it's really important that we protect areas with natural plants that provide flowers that they have evolved to feed from, and also to provide areas that they are able to cool down in, like forests, to keep these places available for them. And to also, if one does want to keep a bee-friendly garden, that you make sure that you plant flowers that are bee-friendly and that are also organic and do not have pesticides because we know that plants filled with pesticides actually affect pollinators and their pollination behavior. <laughs>